Welcome to Pyro 2, Flames and Sparse Pyro. This course demonstrates how to effectively use and understand the Sparse Pyro Solver. As part of the course, you'll receive a basic scene, which contains a fire pit that's been modeled, textured, and lit ahead of time. This allows us the perfect opportunity for learning about the Sparse Pyro Solver by creating realistic fire. Along the way, you'll learn all about how things generally work, best practices, and practical advice for maintaining pyro simulations without losing control. In addition to this, you'll receive valuable resources, such as documentation describing various fields in an easy to understand way. For anyone interested in learning about sparse pyro in Houdini, this is the best resource you'll find for creating beautiful, professional looking fire. Thanks for watching, and let's get started.